So I'm going to talk about Jinkasama, why he speaks English. Of course, people are going to think that because people are going to think uh, Jinkasama's voice actor, Ishichiba, the guy that voices Jin for like since the 90s in Tekken 3. Remember that in the old Tekken games like Tekken 3 that some characters didn't speak in Tekken 3, the end days they never spoke? The only characters that spoke was Julia Chang and Michelle Chang. This happened in Tekken 4, you had dialogues and prologues. Of course, this hoodie outfit does return in Tekken 4, since Jin, this is Jin's outfit in Tekken 7, but it's also one of my favorite outfits in the game, since I never played Tekken 4, and good holy moly googly goo guess this outfit looks so cool, and it makes Jin look like a kicking butt character that can kick, kick, kick some ass. Not to mention it looks cool. Also, this is his awesome outfit. It's this karate outfit that he wears in Tekken 4, which looks really awesome. But here's the thing, this outfit's not in Tekken 7, so people did customization of it. In Tekken Tech Tournament 2, you had a lot of customization. Sorry this is so unrelated, because it is unrelated. Sorry about that guys, so unrelated. I'm gonna talk about the outfit itself in Tekken 4. What happens if you hit Jin hard? Of course this hoodie comes off. Of course in Tekken 7, he has a newer outfit. People wanted a throwback. That's why they asked Hawada, because Hawada said the fans that liked it Tekken 4, what I'm saying is he liked the deep hoodie that he wore in Tekken 4. It looks cool. That's why the fans wanted it back in Tekken 7, because that's why in Tekken 7, if you knock off Jin's hoodie off, it does come off. This also happens a lot in battle. If you knock off his hoodie, it will come off. Not to mention this happens a lot in Tekken 7. Also, he's, he's also um, in, in um, special match. If you're fighting Jin and stuff, he has a really awesome CGR of Jin, which he's really awesome. I will do um, something cool, but like I said, I never tried doing the Wing God Fist. I'm talking about him right now, but I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about his outfit. Of course, he goes like that. This is his new style since I never played Tekken 4. I only seen it on YouTube as a child and I always thought the game looked cool. I never played the arcade version when it came out because this game came out on PS2. I was never played PS2. I never had the game. I never played it. I only seen it on YouTube. I had Tekken 5 on the PSP. I actually bought it. I actually bought that in January from eBay and the game looks so cool. They also do return Tekken 4 outfits which is nice. This is when Bandai knows that their fans weren't outfits years ago. But actually, for everybody that likes Tekken 4, the game does have a lot of weird shit glitches. Which is very weird for a game. Not to mention it does have weird glitches because um, people say, oh, Jin is overpowered. Yeah, that's kind of true. Since he is overpowered, I don't really care about that because I never had Tekken 4. That you do understand how the Final fans round. feel because Fight. they didn't like Tekken 4. Uh. Yeah, like some of the fans like Tekken 4. Some people said it was considered the worst game in the series, which it's not true that it's their opinion after all. I think Tekken 4 is a very good fighting game that when it came out. Of course, the character's hair is smooth. Like I said, I also didn't mention this mad times. I didn't mention this, but did you know in Tekken 4, <laughs> I always mention this, that actually now the characters could talk, finally. Because when I look at Tekken 4 cutscenes, when I did the fan dub of Lee Chun Long, I actually did a fan dub of Jen. Actually, I was supposed to put we dub, since the original dub wasn't bad. It's just that, it was so hard doing the mouth flap. Like I said, the mouth flapping is not easy in Tekken 4 endings because some of the endings are very hard to do. Like the mouth flapping is hard. I never had issues with it, but I think at first I was trying to do a really good mouth flap of Jin Kasama, which is mouth flap. If the character's mouth moves, you have to like, like match the mouth, match the words of their mouth, and then at times it will work. I like how in Tekken 4, I like the animation of Tekken 4 because I want to be an animator and I want to make fighting games like that. I really like fighting games a lot. This is 
so related, but it is true because I like fighting games. I never stop playing it. Sometimes I do take a break from fighting games. I do play sometimes, maybe, Hatsune Miku, Persona 5. I always like Sonic a lot. Of course, people want me to talk about that, but I will talk about the reason why I did that Sonic. I mean, that uh, Tekken meets Sonic characters, which is really cool fan fiction. It's like a fan fiction because a lot of people like to see what will happen. This is why I confirmed by episode because I want to see how good this is. It's actually really good to me because I think it's a really great idea in my opinion. You just um, notice this? Why is this not in the console version since Jin and Fate Retribution you get to fight Jin? He's a freaking hidden boss and it's so epic. Not to mention you get to fight with him which is a really cool scene. This sucks because it's not in the arc in the console version which sucks. Of course you can tell by the back of his outfit. It looks really cool in the back. It's also say like a batter like a bird that's what it says but it looks really freaking cool because this outfit's really cool but why it looks really awesome actually it looks really cool let's all talk about this the devil mark this is based off the artwork that i post on facebook and it looks really cool i really like how they did a good job i like how that person circled it it looks really freaking cool nice outfit actually awesome about this stuff is really good, but I really want to talk about the reason why Jin was never playable for the entire story of Tekken 7. Number one, we knew that in the trailer they weren't fooling around with us saying it was going to be darker in tone. Yes, Jin was in a coma for the entire freaking game, not to mention everybody thought they was going to play as Jin. No, but the entire story was focusing on the Mishimas. That's why in the game they didn't even show us. Well, not show us, but they didn't even tell you what happened to Jin when he was knocked down the process. They didn't tell us that. Not to mention because they didn't want to tell us because they're serving up, they're saving it for Tekken 8. That's why they're not doing it now because, look, I, I'm too, I'm speculating way too much, I guess, I don't know, but saying these things is very interesting because I want Jin to have a good ending. I don't want the man to suffer anymore. The guy suffered enough. Not to mention his father and Heihachi, they <laughs> hate Jin a lot because, well, Heihachi shot Jin in the head because he had a devil gene, right? Yeah, Heihachi was smart, but this kind of made Jin very angry. Yes, actually, it did make Jin angry because he trusted his grandfather. Not to mention his grandfather fooled Jin by actually shooting him in the head. Jim wasn't fooled, but Jim was kind of tricked into a Hachi's plan to kill Ogre, and Jin did kill Ogre. Of course, if you guys want to watch my character talk, you can watch it because I did like three parts of it. Well, no, I did three parts of it because I can't do part four yet because what I'm saying right now, I can't do the other part yet because Jin's story is not over because Jin's story is still going to happen. And Tekken 8 because we don't know his intentions now but I'm just saying just kidding because Jin will kill Kazuya in Tekken 8 that's what they did then in the first place they were even joking around with us saying oh that Jin is going to kill Kazuya people got their mind blown because we know that another Tekken 8 is going to happen we know why they did this because they were going to do another cliffhanger Yes, the ending was a cliffhanger. I am very <laughs> surprised about that because they did left on the cliffhanger. When I was playing the game, I went mind blown because I knew that finally Jen could be the antagonist again. Like I said, I never played Tekken 7 until Tekken 6. I had it years ago when I was a kid. Not to mention, so good. For some reason, a lot of times when I'm playing Tekken 7, I find the funniest glitches ever. I also find silly stuff. Like there's uh, blocks with Jenga. Sorry this is unrelated, but it's actually really interesting. It's also funny how... It's kind of sucks to say this, but either way, why Jin is not... Jin is only playable in... Not, play, not playable in the story, but when I'm saying... You only can fight him in special match. He says... Don't get in my, don't get in my way. You'll say that when you approach him. 
I guess when he's poaching Akuma or Kasumi. So good. But it's either way. Why is why his hidden boss is not in Tekken 7? Well, because only in Fate Retribution, the arcade version. What the hell? <laughs> not to mention I'm not mad about this. I'm okay with it, but a lot of people are upset. There's also, I'm not going to rant about this, no. I was also going to talk about why Jen's speaking English. But here's the thing. When Jen spoke English in Tekken 4, it's actually kind of interesting. Some of you guys know in Tekken 4, they were doing a realistic approach at the time. Sorry if I don't have footage of Tekken 4, which I did show earlier. But why they did this? This is Tekken 7 right now, what I'm talking about. But why Jin Kazama doesn't speak English? Well, in freaking... Well, in Tekken 4, he does speak English, but it's not shown... But it is shown how one's ending. It's not shown his ending because he speaks Japanese poor entirely. But let's talk about his voice actor, Ishin Chiba, the guy that voices Jen in the 90s. Really good voice actor. Give him some credit because he's a really good voice actor. Kind of sucks he didn't voice Jedi for the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, which is some reason right there. I also <laughs> find funny how I did the Sonic, well, not Sonic, but the Tekken meets Sonic characters. This is actually a, this is fic, this is non-fiction. This is a fictional story after all, it's not real, it's just fictional. I actually did a good video out of it and I had a kick out of doing all the voice acting and stuff. I had fun doing it. But I'm not done with it when I'm saying I'm not finished because this will be five episodes. Why well, I'm doing five episodes? Because I, I actually did a teaser, uh, I didn't say a teaser, I hinted at the like in the middle, like Hollow One, it meets Knuckles, yeah, and then Kasuya teaming up with Infinite. That would be cool that I, why I did this, because it's not a weird crossover, it's just interesting. Why I did it, why I did it in the first place, I told my friends about it in high school, like, should I do this? And they said, yeah, you should do it. And I did it, and it was so alright. And let's talk about why Jin can speak English in Tekken 4. Because of this, Jin lived, not Jin lived, Jin moved to also just to learn karate. Yes, he did move there because it tells in the prologue and epilogue. And also, let's talk about Inchin Chiba, the guy that voices Jin. Do you know he had struggle trying to say some lines in English? Alright guys, what I'm gonna say here, the man did have trouble speaking English, it's not his fault. Of course, a lot of Japanese voice actors are good. Some tried. Like I said, Jin's voice actor, give him some credit because he tried. It's not his fault, but he tried and it sounded really awesome. That's so what I'm going to say. Jin is voiced by the guy from Death Note, Light Yagami. The English voice actor that voices Light Yagami will also voice Jin in Tekken. Well, not Tekken, Sea Fighter Cross Tekken. Which his voice fit, but nobody didn't like his voice. I saw people complaining, like, oh, it's voice. Alright, guys, before I leave the video, don't you think this looked cool? Since they were doing a realistic job in Tekken 4 and how it's ending, that Jin Kasama speaks English? Alright guys, I'm gonna let you watch a video of Jin Kasama speaking English and how it was ending. Bye guys, hope you have a great day. You're finally here. So, what do you want? I never got to fight you at the tournament. I'll take you on right here, right now. There's no reason to fight. You ain't got one? Well, I do! Sergeant! Desertion is an offense punishable by court-martial. Give yourself up, soldier! Boy. <laughs> Kazama, remember, I kicked your ass back there. Hey, you listening? I'll give you a chance to even the score at the next tournament. You better show up. <laughs> 